All right, let's get this rolling. <laughs> oh, gotta buckle up. Buckle up. Oh, buckle up. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by the man who recently played at the NHL All-Star Game, first certified gold single, toured with Tyler Hubbard, played a live session with Riley Green, got a puppy, got engaged. What haven't you done this year, man? I've done a lot, man. That's overwhelming just thinking about all that stuff. But yeah, happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Anytime, man. You were going on the Buckle Up Tour, presented by Bud Light Canada and powered by Live Nation Canada. Yep. The tour starts May 6th in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Yep. Then you're coming all the way back for 19 days to your hometown of Mildmay, Ontario. That's right. Tell me a little bit about the tour. I'm super stoked because um, this will be my first headline tour with the Buckle Up Tour presented by Bud Light Canada. The coolest thing about the Buckle Up Tour is that we're doing small towns and I kind of grew up, I mean, I did grow up in a small town and I grew up playing in all kinds of small towns in the corner of bars. And uh, I've been very fortunate over the last couple of years to play some bigger stages and play for bigger crowds, but it's gonna feel like coming home with the Buckle Up Tour, just, you know, the whole idea of country music and, and the messaging and everything that we sort of stand by as country artists is community and small towns, and um, that's where it all kind of started, so it feels fitting to put on a show and, and bring country music back to what we're all singing about in our songs anyways, right? So it'll be sort of a full circle thing to just be there with all those small town, hardworking folks. And we all know one of the biggest hurdles to getting out to a show is the price of tickets. So Owen, let them know how much it's gonna run them. Zero, free tickets. Go to buckleuptour.ca, get your free tickets today. Reserve your spot, show up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hang out, I'll see you there. Small towns, I'll be in my element in the corner of some, some bars and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The guys in I are very excited. So free tickets, get them now. <laughs> you can't say no to free 99. That's right, free 99. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> and is Chevy coming? He's not, no. He's, uh, he's, he's gonna stay with my parents for a week and then we're, we're shipping him off to our friend who's a dog trainer. She's gonna train him and hopefully, he'll be ready for the bus next time for sure. Perfect, yeah. yeah must playing with Riley Green, his dog's always dialed. Yeah, exactly. I, I, uh, I love that stuff, it's so good. <laughs> Speaking of small town, yeah. we're both from small town and I feel like Stats Canada's traffic comes from strictly me. When someone says they're from a small town, I'm like, are you really? And I pull yeah. it up. Mild May, Ontario, 2016 population, 1,219. Yep. 2021 population, 1,222. <laughs> so you gained three, three people three people in five lives. years. Oh wow. Which That's in great. in old dirt roads you did say it's it's a town that most people just drive through. Except they for do. one family. Yeah. They stuck around. <laughs> but I love that. I mean I guess we must not be like repopulating too much in my own or yeah, I mean maybe that should be something we should be concerned about, but I like it, honestly. I've been talking about my a lot over the last couple of years and you know, introducing a lot of people to the town and I hope that it remains the same and people don't just start like moving a mile. Maybe. I mean, it's awesome. I kind of want to keep it a bit of a secret, but uh, yeah, that's that's good to hear that it's staying mm -hmm. same. I thought it was a thousand to be honest, but I guess we're at 1200, so. You're just getting up there. Yeah. So you've been performing your new single for about a year now. It shows you've been playing. Tell me a little bit about holding on to it for so long and then finally deciding to release it. Yeah, Bud Light The Way is finally out. We dropped it on Friday and it's been a song that's been a part of our live show, like you said, for a year and a half now. We've been playing it um, as song two in our set. It always gets the crowd fired up. I mean, I first got the idea for this song. I was walking up from the basement fridge with a case of Bud Light, and it's was going to my buddy's place to watch the hockey game. And I just like randomly said Bud Light the way out loud for no reason at all. It just kind of like came to my head. And I was like, that's cool. I've never heard anybody say that before. And then I wrote in my notes on my phone. Next day, went down to the shop, and I just sat down with my guitar and wrote the song in like an hour and uh, Bud Light The Way was born. And that's sort of just how it happened for me. Um, and then, I, I, like I said, been playing that for years um, live and just happy to finally have it out so people can listen to it on Spotify and Apple Music and, and all that stuff. And you gotta have a, you know, a beer song in the set, obviously. Uh, of course. And, you have a new EP coming out after your Buckle Up Tour presented by Bud Light Canada. And powered by Live Nation Canada. Oh yeah, the night of uh, that show at Harley's is the, the release day for the EP, which is called Bruce County, and we're gonna be in Bruce County, so it'll be fitting to just, you know, be home, EP comes out, it's about growing up in, in Mildman and in Bruce County, and a lot of the songs reflect that, so it's uh, very fitting. New EP, May 24th, check it out, it's called Bruce County, God's Country. <laughs>